What's happening there, guys? And welcome back to another video. Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud is a millionaire businessman, investor, philanthropist, and royal from Saudi Arabia. Among the private jets held by Prince Al Walid bin Talal are the Boeing 747, Airbus 321, and Hawker Siddeley 125. Most recently, he bought the Boeing 747. The Saudi prince bought this aircraft in 2003, and he later had it altered to meet his needs. The plane also has two sumptuous bedrooms, a dining table for 14, and a throne in the middle where the prince has probably flown to his castle. Keep watching to take a look inside Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud's private jet. Inner treasure of the mansion-like private jet of the prince. This gorgeous monster of an aircraft was intended to include everything such as elevators, guest suites, boardrooms, hammams, wellness centers, and more. One of the greatest private jet ever produced is the Boeing 747. Thus, when designing the inside, the princess needs were taken into consideration. The airplane has 400 seats and typically costs $150 million, but the prince changed it such that it could only provide for a family. According to Aero Affairs, the wealthy prince boosted the price of the aircraft by an additional $300 million to meet his needs, bringing the total cost close to $450 million. The Saudi prince's private jet, the Dream Jet, is worth close to $500 million. And this isn't the prince's only aircraft either. Adding luxurious amenities to the private aircraft. This aircraft saw its transformation from a long-distance aircraft to a VIP private jet. This meant that in order to make the place for luxury, the majority of the seats from the classic line model had to be removed. The prince's 300 million euro construction project includes a dining room with seating for more than 10 people, a leisure space with a spa and sauna, a prayer room, a royal viewing area with a grand piano, marbled water features, and a private stadium for entertainment. Later, the prince added another 200 million euros to enjoy them. They frequently convey the many types of freight using the opulent Colossus. According to Adam Aviation, the Saudi prince has a stable and a garage, allowing him to travel where he pleases without ever having to give up his collection of luxury Rolls-Royce cars or his favorite horses and camels. The 500-square-meter two-story A330 is also equipped with a long staircase, a throne in the center, and a room with a glass floor so that passengers can view the ground below. The affluent businessman also wanted to have a huge lavish meeting room. The jet center point is the main level saloon, which contains three sofas, a coffee table, and vaulted ceilings. Each leather seat may be further adjusted using the opulent electrical switches built into the armrests of each chair. The basis for the prince's elegant floor plan. The 200 meter long aircraft, which was built after three years of arduous work and attention to every detail, is a rebuilt version of the conventional passenger jumbo jet. When compared to other high-end private aircraft, such as President Obama's, the flight is comparable to a lavish residence with all the necessities covered. The master bedroom is located at the nose of the aircraft below the cockpit. Furthermore, because it's away from the engines, the airplane's nose, which is at the front of the fuselage, is the quietest and most private part of the aircraft. That might sound like too much for you and me, but nothing's out of reach when you're a Saudi royal. Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud high profile through Kingdom Holding Co., 5% of which is listed on the Saudi Stock Exchange, controls stakes in private and public businesses in the United States, Europe, and the Middle East. He also owns the 65th largest private yacht in the world. Some glimpses of the ravishing interiors and main deck. The private plane, currently owned by an anonymous business mogul, has high-end upholstery throughout in tones of milk, beige, brown, and caramel. Additionally featured are furnishings with a patent leather finish and glossy wood paneling. The master suite, a private lounge, a dining area with 12 seats that may also be used as a conference room, a well-equipped office, and a staff lounge are all located on the main deck. One may utilize a private elevator in addition to some cleverly placed steps to access the top deck, which includes two lovely lounge rooms with LCD TVs and massage reclining couches. A kitchen with a microwave, refrigerator, cutlery stand, and personal bar is also located on the top deck. The master bathroom has a walk-in shower and a single vanity with a full mirror and sink. A regular-sized bed and sidewalls with counter space and below storage drawers are features of the bedroom. 
the suite has tidbits like bedside tables, walls, cup holders, and individual reading lamps. The small touchscreens embedded in a number of surfaces on the aircraft may be used to operate the lighting. The Boeing 747, sometimes known as the Queen of Skies, had its first flight in 1970. It continues to be used for freight flights as well as passenger flights all over the world, so destroying this almost brand new aircraft seems like a ridiculous waste. The jet took out from Switzerland on April 15th and touched down in Arizona 11 hours later according to flight monitoring information. Unfortunately, the manufacturer Boeing repurchased it from the Saudi royal family just three days before the trip, giving away the knowledge that it might still be used. However, the destiny of the 235 million pound aircraft is uncertain because Boeing announced that it will stop making the storied aircraft later this year. That's the end of this video guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and before heading out, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on more of our forthcoming videos in the future. We'll be back here again with another video soon, so until next time, take care and good luck. Care.